making virtual meetings more accessible in emergencies. It's important to ensure that your virtual and online meetings are inclusive and accessible to all participants, including people with disabilities. Using an inclusive design approach to planning your meetings will help you reach and communicate with all members of your audience. Inclusive design practices include accessibility, the use of plain language, and universal design practices. Inclusive design recognizes that there is always diversity within a group. Diversity makes us stronger and smarter, and designing for diversity does the same. There are many types of diversity within a group. Users within an audience are diverse in a variety of ways. They have different backgrounds, different needs, different strengths, and different interests. Some people in your audience may have differing physical or sensory means of accessing information and communicating with others. Some members of your audience may have difficulty seeing and may use screen readers, screen magnification, and may use a computer keyboard instead of a mouse to access and navigate content. Some members of your audience who are deaf or hard of hearing may rely on live captions or American Sign Language to access content. Other participants may need descriptions of images, charts, and graphs, and others may need plain language or simplified text. While others may use assistive technology such as text-to-speech or speech-to-text to access information and communicate during meetings. Some of your audience may have a variety of preferences for accessing information and participating in online meetings. Diversity may be about ability, culture, social determinants, language, education, preferences, and more. There will always be diversity and variety. Some people with disabilities may encounter barriers when meetings are not planned and conducted with accessible and inclusive features and they may miss out on important and critical information and may have difficulty participating and contributing to the meeting. There are several key steps you can take to make your meetings accessible and successful for all participants, speakers, and presenters before, during, and after the meetings take place. In this video, we will provide you with mindful implementation tips and strategies for making your virtual meetings inclusive, accessible, and successful for all of your participants. Let's start with strategies for planning before the meeting. Inclusive implementation strategies before the meeting include Determining the purpose of your meeting and clearly communicating the purpose and details with your participants. Use plain language guidelines, including choosing your words carefully. Use familiar or commonly used words and do not use jargon. Define any technical terms, abbreviations, and acronyms. Having and communicating a clear purpose for the meeting will help support accessibility. Specify meeting objectives in your meeting announcement or invitation and be sure to provide all of the relevant information the audience will need to access the meeting or presentation in the invitation. Be sure to include the following in your communications. Event description, date and time of the event, location details, online or in person, length or duration of the event, speakers, and how to register. When using an online registration platform or online form, it's also important to ensure that the registration process is accessible. This will help users who may not be using a mouse and users who might be accessing the form on a mobile device. Remember to clearly label form fields, check color contrast, and clearly indicate required fields. When sending the meeting invitation, include a statement explaining the accessibility services that will be made available such as captioning and American Sign Language interpreting. Explain how participants can request any additional accommodations if needed. One of the most important choices you can make is choosing an appropriate accessible meeting platform. An accessible meeting platform includes real-time captioning functionality, including the ability to resize and customize captions, screen magnification capability, support for screen readers and keyboard navigation, including labeled controls and keyboard shortcuts. Another important feature is high-resolution video display that supports American Sign Language interpreting and the ability to spotlight speakers and ASL interpreters for the duration of the meeting. It is also important to use a platform that provides users the ability to join the meeting using audio and video or a dial-in capability for participants who do not have Wi-Fi access or prefer to call in. 
Another important consideration includes the maximum participant capacity for meetings. You will also want to consider what type of interaction is important for the meeting. Is it important to see attendees? Is it important for attendees to be able to use their microphones in addition to the chat box? Do participants need to demonstrate or share their screens during the meeting? Are breakout rooms needed? Once you have made decisions regarding the announcement and meeting platform, you will want to turn to the design and development of accessible materials for your meeting. Accessible materials include agenda, supplemental meeting information, documents and resources, PowerPoint presentation, photos, illustrations, maps or charts, survey or poll, questions for training credits, video file, spreadsheet. Make sure all materials that are shared are created in accessible formats. It is also helpful to provide materials in advance of the meeting when you are able. Next, you want to plan the inclusive strategies in preparation for the meeting including identifying accessibility and accommodation needs for speakers and participants. Designate a co-host who can take over in case the host loses the connection. Schedule captionists and ASL interpreters. Ensure that all slides and collateral materials are accessible. Include alternative text for graphics that are created by the presenter. It is best when the author of the materials writes the alt text so that their intended meaning is included. Schedule a time prior to the meeting to test the connections and to permit the speakers to familiarize themselves with the functionality of the meeting platform. Designate someone to support speakers with technical assistance to monitor questions or comments in chat or to step in as needed. Designate who will record the meeting to allow transcription, re-watching of the meeting, and an archive if some participants are unable to attend. Inclusive meeting preparation includes the language you use in your written communication and the language you use when speaking. Plain language tips include Write for your typical audience Choose frequently used words Use short sentences Do not use acronyms without explaining them Define new or unusual terms Limit the amount of text on each slide in a presentation Speak slowly and clearly Avoid the use of acronyms when possible Explain any acronyms that are used. Use person-first language. The visual design of your materials is also important. Clean, uncluttered design supports accessibility, understanding, and engagement. Avoid visual clutter and crowded screens. Put only key points on slides. Use meaningful visual content that contributes to understanding. Graphics should add meaning, rather than be decorative only. Tips to keep in mind regarding inclusion during the meeting. Presenters and participants may choose to add pronouns at the end of their names when entering a meeting. Pay attention to other attendees' pronouns and use them as the attendee specifies. There may be attendees in the meeting who choose not to be on video. Please respect this choice as it may be due to a disability. Be aware that some participants may have disabilities that are not visible. Stay open to the needs of all participants. Providing multiple means of accessing information using text, images, voice, captions, American Sign Language, and Braille-ready files provides a universal design approach that helps to meet the needs of a broad range of people. Make sure that lighting of presenters is adequate. This is important for visibility of presenters, and wearing high-contrast clothing can make the presenters easier to see. Mindful facilitation of the meeting helps the meeting run smoothly for all participants. Facilitation tips include Start and end the meeting on time. Welcome participants as they arrive. Encourage the use of video by all participants when possible. Ensure all participants can see and or hear all other participants as appropriate. Have participants mute their microphones when they are not speaking. Have ASL interpreter and caption windows up and running before the meeting starts. Explain available accessibility features and accommodations at the beginning of the meeting. Explain if the meeting will be recorded and archived for future availability and where the recording can be accessed, if applicable. Explain how to ask questions or request technical assistance. Set expectations for the meeting activities. Spotlight the active ASL interpreter. 
designate someone who will manage turn-taking if participants are joining discussions or asking questions. Use the hand-raising tool to indicate the desire to speak. Ask participants to state their name before speaking. Provide accessible alternatives for collaboration if needed, such as voting and hand-raising. Facilitate to make sure all are included and heard by monitoring and reading aloud the chat. Insert links to key information into the chat. While some links may be included on slides, it is helpful to duplicate them in chat to allow the link to be made available after the speaker has changed the slide. Always read questions and comments that you are addressing from the chat aloud so everyone can hear and so that it is captured in the recording. Do not assume everyone can see your slides, hear you, or understand. Describe non-text content for your audience who may not be able to see. Provide explanations and descriptions of images, charts, graphs, tables, and photos. Describe and explain any processes that are occurring, including demonstrations and simulations if needed. Inclusive tips for sharing resources after the meeting. Post or email accessible slides and documents, transcripts of the session, and Q&A, if applicable. Provide the recording of the meeting to all attendees and those who were not able to attend. If visuals were described during presentation, then audio description should not be needed. Otherwise, a video with audio description can be posted to assist people who are blind. Tips. Use the survey feedback for future improvement. Collect the survey results. Use the feedback to improve future meetings, presentations, or trainings. By using inclusive design strategies that ensure accessibility, you can facilitate successful meetings that meet the needs of all of your participants, which will enable more successful outcomes for all. The Rehabilitation Engineering Research Center for Wireless Inclusive Technologies. The contents of this video were developed under a grant from the National Institute on Disability, Independent Living and Rehabilitation Research, NIDILRR grant number 90RE5025-01-00. NIDILRR is a center within the Administration for Community Living, ACL, Department of Health and Human Services, HHS. The contents of this video do not necessarily represent the policy of NIDILRR, ACL, HHS, and you should not assume endorsement by the federal government.